everybody and welcome to my channel. Today is Monday, October 14th at 11.34 a.m. and about 20 to 30 minutes ago I found out that the Disney Skyliner has been reopened after the accident. So I'm going to go into it. Um, I was at Disney World this weekend and I took some video both yesterday from Hollywood Studios and also on Saturday at the back entrance to Epcot where the cars are. And so let's start off with the video that I shot yesterday. You'll hear me talking over it and let's just go to that clip right now. So these are the cars that got stuck in that crash. This is the Hollywood Studios Epcot line, still not running. But in the background, you can see the other line is being tested. I don't think that any human beings are on it right now. So it's now about three o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday, and they are running the sky cars, probably just testing them because we are not seeing them stop at the station down over here. There's a station and they'll just keep coming up and down, up and down, up and down. So I'm guessing that they really wanna get this back online as soon as possible. Um, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so apparently when they were running those cars yesterday, it was to make sure everything was running okay after what happened um, just six days after the Skyliner opened. Those cars actually opened on September 29th and then just six days later, they had what Disney is calling a malfunction. And if you look at the photographs, you will see that it was more of a crash slash crushing of cars. Um, it appears that the blue car didn't make it onto the wire above and all the cars squished together. Um, the blue car actually had glass underneath it and that caused people to get stuck at the top for up to three hours. Some of the people had to be rescued by fire rescue with um, ladders and such. And um, it just sounds like a huge mess. They do have some kits that were underneath the seats, emergency kits. But in these emergency kits, they had a pen and a piece of paper, I'm guessing to keep the kids occupied. Um, there was some water, some cool packs. Um, luckily, this did happen at night. The thing that concerns me is these don't have air conditioning. These gondolas are made by a company who use them for ski areas. And I don't know that they've ever been run in heat like this. So if they're running, from what I understand, I have not been on them, um, the breeze runs through it pretty easily. But when it's just sitting there, it gets pretty warm. And I don't know how bad that would have been had they gotten stuck in the middle of the day on a hot uh, Florida day, like 90 degrees. It's actually still been 90 degrees here. The humidity is down to 50% now, but... Um, it's really, really hot here in the summertime. Um, so it remains to be seen what would have happened if those had gotten stuck in the daytime. Um, so also in those kits were what appeared to be this blue thing. Um, we're not sure if that was supposed to be a barf bag, but some people did use them to go to the bathroom. They were stuck up there for three hours and they didn't have a place to go to the bathroom. And from what I read on someone else's blog, um, they leak. So now you're sitting there stuck in the smell of things <laughs> up there. So would you ride them now that they're reopened? Would you give them a little bit longer before you got on them? I don't know that I would get on them. Um, I'm not afraid of heights like flying in an airplane or in an enclosed space. Like I'm not scared when I'm on the monorails. Um, I do go on, you know, like the Star Tours types of rides, but you will never see me repel off a building or bungee jump or any of those things. That's not something I'm into. If there's nothing enclosing me, then I don't like it that much. When I'm on a ski lift, it's a little bit scary because I'm afraid I'm going to slide off the seat, but I'm fine and I get off of it and, you know, and go ski down the mountain. But, um... I don't know that I'd wanna be stuck in this thing for three hours, especially in the summer heat. So let me show you some video I shot on Saturday right outside the back entrance of Epcot. So we are getting through Epcot the back way and there are the Skyliner cars that are shut down indefinitely because of the crash. They are not working. They are closed indefinitely. 
because of the crash that happened last weekend. So the information that's coming out of Disney is that the Skyliner is running today until 10.30 tonight. But starting on Wednesday, they're going to be doing some maintenance to the line. So that's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So they're calling what it's called a modified scheduling for what they're calling system updates. Don't know what those updates consist of, but on Wednesday, the Disney Hollywood Studios line will be closed. And then the other two lines, the Epcot line and the Pop Century line, they'll be open that day from 1 p.m. until 10.30 p.m. And then on Thursday and Friday, all the lines will be open, but they won't open until 1 p.m. and then they'll close at 10.30 p.m. So at the time of the crash, Disney was calling it a malfunction and unexpected downtime. So they still are not calling it a crash. They're not calling it a crushing which you could see from the Twitter pictures that people were sending at the time of the accident. Clearly, it was more than just a malfunction. So it remains to be seen how this situation is going to work itself out. Hopefully there won't be any more problems, especially since it's going to be now taking people again. So my question to everyone that's watching this, would you ride these gondolas or gondolas? Do you say gondolas or gondolas? Would you ride them? Put your comments below and let's have an open discussion. Do you think they should have built monorails instead? Would monorails have been more expensive? I don't know the answer to that question. It just seems to me that monorails is the thing that Disney does. So it would make, have made more sense to me to put monorails in. However, the thing that confuses me is if you remember in the Magic Kingdom, there used to be a Skyline ride that went from Fantasyland over to, I can't remember if it was Tomorrowland, but it used to run, right? over the top of where Fantasyland is and you would get on it and it was an open car. It wasn't a gondola. It was an open car. They took that down after there was actually a, a death from an accident with a worker and that was taken down quite a long time ago. So the fact that they're putting these back up again in a different form is very surprising. So what are your thoughts? Put it down below. I do have some video that I'll be shooting from when I was at the Epcot Food and Wine Fest. And also I experienced the Millennium Falcon for the first time and I'll have my review of that. And so stay tuned for that. I'll probably be editing that later on tonight or tomorrow. So thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next adventure. Bye.